Good morning everybody, it's um, Thursday and I did do last night a small haul of um, stuffing boxes that I haven't unpacked so I did that, um, I haven't uploaded the video yet, I've got to do that when I go upstairs um, but in the meantime I um, wanted to come on and I know some of you don't like to hear about the negatives but again Chantal I have to say something um she's put out photographs on Instagram which you'll get if you go go onto Instagram and follow up or onto one of the other reaction channels and they've got the videos there the pictures I should say of her in Montreal with her what do we call him I think they're in um, a codependent relationship um, a sick relationship a debased relationship debased debauched sick humiliating all of that stuff an unhealthy relationship codependency he's dependent on her for money she, in turn, is dependent on YouTube support for money because she doesn't work. So she's posted these pictures of her, one of him, some of her half naked, um, sitting at a dressing table with no bottoms on and a large thighs on show and then a couple of pictures of her in the bathtub um, showing her weird feet and it looks actually I don't know whether it was something to do with coming up to Halloween or what but the bath water looked like it was red like it was bloody it wasn't it was clearly a, a bath bomb or something but she's taking these pictures and she's in full makeup the false eyelashes the you know the full monty the whole um the whole thing of makeup and hi guys as though nothing's gone wrong as though the man she is with nadia the man she's paying for his company buying his clothes, paying his rent and now taking, taking him away for a bit, away from the heat because of the accusations of May Anderson calling out rape that he raped me. So allegedly he raped May Anderson. Foodie Beauty is going along as though not a care in the world you know she's the sort of woman who gives sisterhood a bad name who gives women a bad name she knows he is violent he's been violent to her to Chantel when he asked her to crawl and kiss his feet if she wanted him to marry her and she did well apparently he asked my Anderson to kiss his feet too so is that a cultural thing is all this with the violence and the necessity to treat women in such a, a, a horrible manner is it genetic is it cultural nature nurture it has to be a bit of both, doesn't it? Um, but what I do think it is, it isn't because he lacks self-esteem. I know that there's some um, arms of psychology that will say that the abuser um, lacks self-esteem, lacks confidence. I don't believe that. I believe it's an overabundance of confidence. Um, an overabundance of entitlements, um, an overabundance of 
I am. Therefore, I will do what I, what I like, with whom I like, whenever I like. If Chantal thinks that she isn't going to be a target at some point in that relationship, well, she already has been, hasn't she? He's punched her face in. He's punched her face. He's thrown a lighted cigarette at her. He's had her crawling on the floor. He's punched her cat. I wonder what else he's done. There was a video out. I don't know where it is now. Somebody might have seen it. Where Chantel is speaking to the camera and saying that they are going to start this channel. And this channel, subscribers would be expected to fork out $15 a month, every month. Not the five she's claiming now, 15, three times the amount. And what they would be getting in return, basically, is what they want. So if somebody's got a fetish for Chantel passing wind, she would do that on camera. If somebody's got a fetish for seeing Chantel in the bath, in various poses, they can get that. They're paying their money. Um, anything and everything is available for a price. The $15 a month will be basic and then there will be levies on whatever else she chooses to upload or whatever she's asked to upload and whether that will be in private to that particular um, person, I don't know. If anybody's got the video, you, you're welcome to post the link. I, I saw it last week sometime. It's got to be around somewhere. So that's what she's planning to do. She's planning to come back, doubtless with Nadia, the abusive predator. He's probably going to be her manager, her director, her pimp, if you like. And that's what she's going to do. And the thing is, she's using YouTube to push all this filth. To push all this filth on the YouTube community. And YouTube was never meant for that. I will complain. I will report. If and when that happens. And what I'm asking everybody now to do, please, don't watch her channel. Don't watch the nonsense. Don't pay her so she can keep that man in luxury. That man who has now got a platform to target vulnerable women on YouTube. Don't pander to her. There are other sites where you can go. Invidious is one. It's the one I use. Other sites you can go to watch, if you must, watch her from there because she doesn't deserve your support, she doesn't deserve your money, she doesn't deserve your loyalty and you yourself surely are above offering that to a woman who's got absolutely no shame and is selling her soul to the devil.
I'll be back later with my clothes haul. Okay, have a good day everybody. Bye-bye.